it's a little bit like driving the Tesla because once you start pushing on these pedals, it really gives you some oomph. Hey guys, we're here at Go Cycle and we are really, really privileged to have Richard Thorpe, the founder and inventor of Go Cycle, and he's gonna give us a tour. Now it's not every day you get to meet and speak with a former McLaren race car designer, but that is who Richard is. He stepped away from that, what would be a dream world for most of us to start Go Cycle way back in the early 2000s. And the Formula One of e-bikes is definitely the way to think about the latest version of the Go Cycle, the G4, which debuted in 2021. So when I see composites and all the technology here, I start geeking out majorly, so. Well, uh, the e-bike industry and bicycle industry, as I say, is aerospace without the budget, okay? <laughs> so uh, yeah. you, you've got to be pretty innovative to create lightweight stuff that's both safe yep. and uh, and reliable. Absolutely. Yeah. Who would you think the ideal buyer? Is it, is it a city person? Is it just somebody who wants to? Uh, I left McLaren Cars in 2002 to start the company. I was living in central London. Uh -huh. So the brief for the product has always been about that urban living right. environment. Right. You know, I could see the pressures coming on cities. Mm -hmm. um, I probably started the company 10 years too early. That makes me a pioneer in the industry. <laughs> um, but yeah, they, they, I had two bicycles stolen in central London. Okay. I was sick and tired of getting, uh, uh, when you try and protect them further and you pull them into your city flat or your small yeah. living space, you get grease on the carpet or grease, uh, they don't fit in the in the elevator. Those were all the things that um, uh, went into Go Cycle. So yeah. it, it's a portable product. I perceived it most all e-bikes for urban environments uh, that don't fold or compromise. Right, right. Uh, you know, they get stolen yeah. and they're awkward to, to live with. In addition to urban commuting, I would see that these would make great road trip or vacation companions to extend your range at your destination. And I can see a case where someone likes to get out for a nice bike ride, but maybe they live in a quite hilly area and don't want to train for the Tour de France. So that's one of the key parts about Go Cycle. It, it's portable um, very quickly. Uh, can be folded down. Yeah, and then you've got something that rolls on its wheels. Oh, it rolls on its wheels. Yeah. yeah. And that portability and convenience comes at no compromise to the riding uh, mm -hmm. fit and style. Now, when you latch it out, I mean, obviously stiffness there is important. So let's geek out yeah, a little so, bit on sure. how you yeah, so clamp that down. Yeah, so what you see, this is a, a, a four-point uh, contact uh -huh. here. And what you're going to see is the distance between this top and lower point for a go cycle is almost double what the industry has. Okay. So uh, the the stiffness that you get through those four points um, is much higher yeah. Uh, yeah. for the same same right. sort of weight. Right. Our central yeah. mid frame here is a carbon fiber uh, construction. It takes all the loads from the front to the rear. Uh, here we have uh, the patented. Clean drive system, which is injection molded in thick, in magnesium. Okay. It's actually thick so molded, so it's yeah, got yeah, better yeah. grain structure than die casting. Excellent. And also more environmentally friendly. The uh, the wheels on this model are carbon, but most of our models come with thick so molded magnesium wheels. Okay. Uh, the front frame is hydroformed in, in, in aluminum. There's some titanium in, in the uh, uh, the front stem. The front fork is carbon. So we're mm -hmm. using all kinds of different materials to keep in the, the right way. Down. For, for each component. Right, and how much do we weigh here with, uh, uh, with the go battery? Cycles, go cycles range from from around 16 and a half to 18 kilos. Okay, and then... Uh, uh, one, of, one of the biggest parts of weight on a go cycle is the kickstand. Yeah, um, <laughs> and this um, is the battery pack. Very, very convenient part of, yeah, uh, battery pack battery slides pack. out. Okay. Yeah, so it's a lithium lithium battery pack. Lithium battery, yeah. and... Now these are, e these are what's called electric assist. So this assists the, the peddler and so how long can you pedal this for until you know, your battery's not helping you anymore? <laughs> yeah, we, we say, you know, 30 to 50 miles. Oh, plenty. Uh, very much a product that is about you and the motor. The clean drive, there's a there's a, just a regular chain back here, right? That's connecting the wheels. When yeah. we say it's just all in, it's just all encapsulated, keeping yeah. it clean. Chain drives are probably the most efficient form of transference of energy yep, yep. for, for uh, human-powered mm -hmm. vehicles. Mm -hmm. And there's a chain tensioner there, uh -huh. so effectively you've got an incredibly long-lasting chain right. 
uh, the dirt and grind that don't get on it to wear the chain out is, is, is not a factor. Yeah, you know? yeah. And so you're pedaling the rear wheels and the motor assist is on the front? Yeah, you power the rear, the motor powers the front. Mm -hmm. That, I believe, is the best format for an urban electric bike. Mm -hmm. Most people that uh, ride urban bikes uh, are never in the right gear. Yeah. Uh, and a derailleur system or a central mid-drive De is dependent on you being in right gear. If you imagine starting your car in fifth gear, you don't yeah. get a lot of power. So the motor's optimized for that city environment, a lot of start stop traffic okay. um, uh, in terms of lights. And we're the only company in the world that offers a traction control. Uh, oh, wheel. okay, so cool. So if, uh, if it's raining <laughs> or if it's in winter conditions, uh -huh. uh, you, you don't get any uh, uh, slip on the front wheel. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so you have a you have a you have a engine or you have a control unit somewhere I would imagine yeah the motor controller is, is here okay it's very close to the motor excellent in, in our port. oh man the other, part, other part of the go cycle is it has side mounted wheels which yeah I like the the, the, the the mono fork there yeah yeah and uh, the benefit of that is that if you get a flat tire uh, you can change the flat tire without taking off the wheel that's that's okay that's cool that's clever yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. all these things are very hard to do <laughs> and that's why most man other manufacturers take a compromised approach the easy yeah, yeah. way out right. and have uh, wheels mounted on both sides now do we have like a damper or shock or something here or right. is this yep. uh okay yeah you got about uh, so it's like an inch of travel nice okay uh, up in the front you've got a fully integrated dash uh electronic shifting yep there's also prediction shifting which you can set by our app and if you like the razzmatazz of an F1 driver's steering wheel, GoCycle has you covered. They have a clever light display on the handlebar here, which tells you which of the three gears your pedal drive is in, how much battery you have left, and your speed. And it also will tell you what mode your front daytime running light is in. First e-bike company to launch uh, Go, uh, uh, an e-bike with an app in okay. 2012. Um, and the app allows you to customize the product so that you can optimize the amount of uh, torque that's uh, input for the battery, mm -hmm. also set and shifting. Uh, this particular model also has our daytime running light, um, <laughs> which is uh, a uh, very distinctive signature in the front. Everything on this model you see differentiates it from pretty much all other e-bikes. Yeah. All the cables are internal. That's very neat. And yep. when you talk about a a uh, folding product mm -hmm. where you're folding the handlebars um, up and down and the frame up and down uh, that's also not very easy yeah uh, which has got electronics cables mm -hmm. shifting cables running through there so three gears for your for your human legs to to help you with some pedaling and then it just helps you yeah. naturally or do you have to ask it to help you there's a torque sensor mm -hmm. in the pedals okay which is programmable by the apps okay so if you put in pressure the motor will it'll, start, it'll start helping you okay. based on your personalized uh, settings man all right well man well this is awesome all right we are going to take a drive on this incredible go cycle and i'm real excited let's see i need to probably move some stuff so i don't squash it move that over here and then this would be where my phone would go, yeah, right? With the app. There, if you want. Oh, okay. Well, let's just. Uh, I mean, that, that, yeah, that's that's where it would be for the app. <laughs> I like it. I like the phone so mount there. There, you get your um, charge level. Is that what that? Three gear and third third gear. Mm -hmm. Shift forward. That's first gear. Second okay. and third. Okay. Okay. Around here, you're gonna be in second and third. Second or third. Yep. Yep. Um, yep. And just pedal normally. And it's same thing. Right, left brake here. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, this is your front brake. Okay. This is hydraulics brakes. Yep. Yeah. And it's just gonna help me when I when I pedal. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. All right. The more you pedal, you more effort you put in, the more boost you get. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna try this out. Oh, there we go. I'm getting some assistance now. This is pretty good. It's really weird. You start pedaling hard, and then uh, the uh, torque sensor knows that you're pedaling hard, and it starts helping you. Very maneuverable. I like the maneuverability here. And then I'm going to pedal hard. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's fun. It's a little bit like driving the Tesla, because once you start pushing on these pedals, it really gives you some oomph. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, obviously you can, you can tell this is my first ride on any kind of e-bike. The brakes are nice and strong. I like the upright sitting position and the maneuverability here. 
I'm gonna stop and I'm just gonna give her the beans here, which is my own pedal power. So right there, I'm, it's not helping me at all. Oh, there it goes, now it's helping. Forgive the wind noise, lots of wind noise. Oh, I'm trucking now. That is so cool. Yeah, you could pretty much take this anywhere. I guess if you live somewhere where there's hills, you're gonna be able to go up any kind of hill with this. And you don't have to feel totally lazy. Brakes are very strong. You definitely feel like you're driving something that's expensive. It's just got a nice quality, comfortable feel to it. Price-wise, the Go Cycle is not cheap, but it's one of those things where you get the innovation, technology, and craftsmanship you pay for. Now, while this short stint was not enough time for me to know if it's truly worth it, I can tell you that this is a well-made and crafted machine, and the passion and attention to detail in its design is quite apparent. What does one of these run? So our entry-level model is 3499. 3499, okay. Uh, and then the model we're looking at here is 5499. And okay. And top-of-the-line uh, model uh, is uh, 6999. Okay, and is it just the weight differences that, that comp or yeah. range? or battery size? Our um, mid-level is the G4i, mm -hmm. uh, which has the cables in, inside and the dash, electronic dash, D DRL. Our entry-level model will have a mechanical shifter, like mm -hmm. a normal twist shifter, yep. and it does not have the DRL. Mm -hmm. And our top-of-the-line model has more carbon. Gotcha. Carbon costs money. Uh, yeah. it's, uh, that's what, that's gotcha. where the price gotcha. comes in for that one. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thanks for coming along with this Go Cycle Tour. So it's a very impressive, very solid product. So uh, thanks for the tour. This has been great. And thank you guys for pressing play today and coming along with me for my first e-bike test drive. And if you own an e-bike or one of these Go Cycles, we would love to hear from you. Leave a comment down below or a question, and we hope to spend more time with e-bikes in the future. Again, thanks for watching today, and have a great day, morning or evening, wherever you may be.